Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare. For today's video, it's another round of mini reviews, mga updates na mga products that I've been trying for the past months. Yes, months talaga kasi some of these I've been trying since the month of December and ayun, it's long overdue. I'm gonna give you guys an update on the BLK Airy Matte Perfecting Foundation and yung brush nila. I'm also gonna give you guys my thoughts on the newest, newest Hydra Gloss collection from Issy & Co. Meron din tayong products from Detail Cosmetics, so I have their one of their glass stains and also their Metallics palette. Chroma Salt, Shadow Arc, Liquid Eyeshadows in Nile and Red Earth. Plus, this newest find from Revlon. So, ayun guys, yun ang pag-uusapan natin today. Mostly sa channel ko, you will find a lot of makeup and skincare reviews. But also, I'm currently on a no-buy. So, I'm really, really trying my best to control my overspending habits, guys. So, gumagawa ko ng mga project pans, shop my stash, mga ganon. Para lang talaga magamit ko yung mga products sa aking collection. And ma-appreciate ko sila para hindi na ako bumili ng mga bagong items, bagong stuff. I know for a fact that I don't need more. So, ayun. If you guys are interested in those types of content, or if you're on a similar journey as I am, I hope that you subscribe to my channel as well as click on the notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. Okay guys, marami tayong pag-uusapan as usual. Product details will be listed down below. Prices, ganyan-ganyan. Nandun lahat yan sa baba. I got you. Marami akong details parating nilalagay sa akin description box. So I hope that you check it out. Pasensya na guys, by the way. Medyo matagal na tong review na to. Honestly, dapat January ko pa to dapat i-post. Kaso nga lang, dumating itong palette sa aking buhay, sa aking collection. Itong Detail Cosmetics Metallics Palette. And medyo marami siyang shades. Ayan, gusto kong gamitin lahat before ko ibigay sa inyo ang aking thoughts. Let's start first with the, something that I am most excited about. Now, this is something that is very recent sa aking collection. In fact, nakuha ko lang siya last week. And so, first-ish impressions. Pero sobrang excited lang talaga ako i-share sa inyo. Kasi this is something, this is my dream. Kung baga, ito yung pinaka gusto kong formula talaga. Like, you know how I like shiny, glossy things, especially for my lips. And ito talaga yung product na gustong gusto kong magkaroon sa aking collection. This is the Revlon Super Luster Shine Lipstick. And this is in the shade Gloss Up Rose. Binigay ito sa akin ni Revlon along with other different goodies. Yung mga other products, next time ko na ito try. Kasi ito talaga yung after ko na try ito. Like wow! So this is sobrang wow na wow talaga ako. Mm. The first time that I saw this product was through Mitch, yung sa The Glow Love underscore Mitch. I'm just gonna link her Instagram down below, okay? Nakita ko talaga to, and I saw her swatches. I saw how the finish was, and parang sobrang gustong gusto ko siya. But the time that she posted that, wala pa yung product na to sa Shopee page and, or Lazada page ng Revlon. And now, it's finally there. So, ayun. I'm so happy na nakuha ko siya in PR. And maganda pa yung kulay. It's something that I really like. Oh, ayan. Ganyan siya. The finish of this one is super duper balmy and very glossy. Pag sinabi niyang shine, it really meant shine. So, ano siya, it feels like a lip balm na hindi greasy, hindi oily yung feel niya sa inyong lips. Basta the shine. <laughs> the shine is something that I really, 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 really like about this product. You know, yung detail cosmetics na, ano ko naman, yung butter tints nila, yung whatever this is, ito. I have it in Blackberry Jam. Medyo naging disappointed ako dito kasi it was very thin. It wasn't yung thick. Hindi siya yung malaman na product na I wanted it to be. Pero ito, ito yung something that was really able to fit yung kung ano man gusto ko dito. As you can see, yung pagka-swipe ko pa lang, 
sobrang high shine na siya agad. Maganda yung pigmentation niya, guys. I wouldn't say na it's fully pigmented, like talagang nakocover niya lahat. You can still see your lip color peeking through, pero makikita mo na parang it evens out your lip color in some way. Makikita mo pa rin na may konting lip color, like a natural lip color mo showing through. This one feels so glossy and balmy for a long time. Talagang moisturizing siya sa inyong lips. It feels so nourishing. It feels like it's hugging your lips in a good way. It feels like butter on the lips. And I just love the formula of this lipstick and alam mo yon guys na kalo no buy ako ngayon so I can't buy new items I can receive items in PR though but after mag expire ang no buy I am definitely eyeing to get myself one of these kasi sobrang ganon yata talaga like this is something that I really want just that like I'm just gonna let the swatch or the B roll speak for itself kasi sobrang Ah, oh, ang ganda niya. I really iterate ko lang kung yung sinabi ko kanina. This is medyo bago lang sa akin. I received this less than one month. This is my excitement talking. So, ayun. I'm just so happy na nahanap ko na rin yung product that is something that fits my ideal glossy lip gloss. This, this is the one. This is the one that I really, really like. That shine is unreal. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, something that is medyo meh sa aking batch dito. This is the BLK Airy Matte Perfecting Foundation. So, it has 19 grams of product and it looks like this. May mirror ka dyan and then may kita mo may parang konting dome yung shape ng product. It is kind of that baked formula. Mas fine naman yung kanyang pagmil. Some micro shimmers in the formula. Um, when you apply this on your face though, it doesn't look like shimmery or glittery on the face. Yung mga shimmers niyan are undetectable sa skin when you apply it. Sabi nila dito na it's a foundation powder. So I tried it first with the found as a foundation powder using the brush that it came with. So ito yung brush na kasama sa collection when this one was released. And I use this as my overall foundation na talaga. I'm in the shade Vanilla Oat, by the way, if I haven't mentioned it. So, ayan. Ganyan yung itsura niya sa aking face. It did mattify my skin. It evened out my skin tone. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin as well. It feels very comfortable. Kaso nga lang, it, it made my skin look so dry naman. It mattified my face, yes. But it looks so dry. And medyo may pagka-cakiness siya. Hindi ko gusto yung look na yun. I don't like it to look heavy sa aking skin, na parang sobrang dami kong makeup sa aking skin. Gusto ko undetectable siya sa aking skin or it feels like I'm wearing nothing. Ganun yung aking preference sa aking base product. So, I tried this again as a setting powder naman using this brush again that they released along with the powder. And I found out na siguro itong brush na to is just really not suitable for what I want, kung ano yung preferences ko. It really is soft, guys. Uh, I'm talking about the brush right now. It really is soft, feels very smooth, and it doesn't feel stiff at all sa face. Hindi siya masakit when I'm applying the powder on my face. However, I feel like it's too compact. Marami siyang nadedepost na product sa aking face. So, in the end, nagmumukha pa rin talaga siyang cakey. So, hindi ko siya ganun ko gusto again using the brush. But when I use it with my regular powder brush, something like this, marami pa ako mga other powder brushes sa aking collection. Pero ganito yung general shape niya. Ayan, it looks so fluffy. Hindi siya super dense or compact looking yung brush head niya. So, ayan yung comparison niya. Like this, right? So, as you can see, it's more taller and it's more fluffier yung tip niya. This one is more straight. Yung bristles niya, itong mas sabog compared to this one. Mas prefer ko tong method of application as compared to that brush when I'm using this powder. So, nung ginamit ko to as a setting powder, guys, it did mattify my face. Hindi na siya ganun ka cakey. Thank Thank goodness. And again, yung shimmer particles niya is not a problem at all the times that I tried to use this product. And hindi naman siya nakaka-add masyado ng coverage na when I use this uh, brush kasi it's fluffier. So, hindi na mas dispersed na yung product sa aking face. Yung oil control niya for me is at until 5 hours. Beyond that, medyo hindi na comfortable dun sa shininess na aking face. And considering na dry yung skin ko, I am wearing it right now. 
as you can see, I don't know if you can see na medyo may pagka shiny na yung aking especially itong area na to. Pero okay pa siya sa akin. This is like 3 hours of wear na makeup. That price per gram, it's okay kasi 19 grams of product to. The usual amount is around 10 to 15 grams. For reference, I think yung Innisfree na no sebum na small circle like that na canister. That one is I think 5 grams lang. And my SPF 20 siya which is good. You know, any additional SPF is okay. Okay, so of course, this will not be my main source of sun protection. So, magkakaroon pa rin ako sunscreen underneath. And then, isa-set ko this kung gusto kong mas mattified yung face ko. For me, itong powder na to is not my most favorite sa aking collection. There are other powders that I like more than this one sa aking collection that I will reach for more sa pag-set na aking face. Nas, again, nasa BLK na tayo. Might as well just talk about this one. Ito yung BLK brush nila. I don't know how much they're selling it for. Pero ayun, very compact and handy to. I like using this for my setting powders. Pero not, just not this one, okay? Just not this one. Pero I've tried it with other powder sa aking collection. And okay naman siya. It, maganda naman siya. Matibay siya. Well, no, I tried to wash this already. And madali lang siya i-clean if you don't use it for liquid foundations. Ayun, mahirap to linisin eh. Pag powder lang, okay siya. Pero pag liquid foundations, medyo mahirap na to linisin. It's a brush that I would use if I really want to mattify my face. Like, if gusto ko talaga makontrol yung oil sa aking face, this is what I would go for with my other translucent powders na lang. Ayun, maganda siya. It's really compact kasi so marami siyang powder na napipick up agad. I like this brush. It's not a bad brush in my opinion. Last stop from BLK is this one. Ito yung Airy Matte tint nila in the shade days. They gave me a voucher kasi for the PR. Yung medyo na lito lang ako with the color kasi when I was choosing days, ganito yung itsura niya. Eh, pero this, from, from what I got, it looks like a magenta. I don't know. Parang hindi siya very close. You know? Parang hindi siya ganun ka close doon sa whatever is in the product listing that they have. To me, this is a magenta lipstick. It's very similar to, you, you know, yung kakam pink. Yan, ganun. Ganun yung itsura niya. I really, really, really like yung kanyang formula. Very fruity to me. I don't know kung anong amoy neto. I think it smells like melons. And I really like as well yung doe foot applicator niya. Anything that is a flat, flexible doe foot is my favorite because it's such an easy and very convenient um, doe foot applicator in my opinion. Very velvety talaga. You could feel na may parang counting resistance when you try to pucker this on your lips. It dries down naman eventually and when it dries down, it's transfer proof. And when I'm wearing this, when I'm eating, Hindi siya rin ganun ka masyadong natatanggal. Dependent lang though yan kung ano yung kinain mo. If it's oily, definitely matatanggal siya. But it's a very good, long-lasting liquid lipstick in my opinion. I really like the finish as well. You can definitely blur it out if you want that blurred or blotted lip sort of look. You can also wear it like in full capacity. Ayan, very, very pigmented rin yung kanyang formula. And I really, really like the color Days. I love it. I don't really have a lot of shades like this. Out of all the BLK products that I'm talking about today, this one is my favorite. Okay, let's talk about these ones quickly. These ones are the Issy & Co. Hydra Glosses. I talked about their formula previously dito sa aking channel. What I'm going to talk about more is yung kanilang shades and what I expected from them. Ganon. Out of dun sa naughty and nice nila, I prefer the naughty collection more kasi I really like my nudes. I like the selection of nudes that they have here. They have this mauve shade called Off Duty. Meron din sila yung parang something milky pink shade which is called Blow. And also they have 911 which is a peachy nude, more of that warm nude shade. With these ones, I really like how I could wear them alone. I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of pictures of me wearing these shades. I am absolutely in love with Off Duty. I think it's yung pinaka favorite ko out of everything. And next, next si Blow and then last C si 911. I find that C si Off Duty kasi is something that I really like because it gives you know, more color to my lips. And gusto ko na may pagka konting plummy shade siya and it has a gold shift as well. Ang ganda lang talaga niya sa lips. 
especially if you're wearing it alone or if you're wearing it on top of a pink lip, maganda siya. I'm not really into warm nudes at the moment, kaya mas prefer ko talaga si Off Duty out of 911. And then itong si Blow, sobrang ano, sophisticated itong itsura ni Blow kasi it really makes your lips a little light, parang very nude lang talaga siya, like skin tone nude yung itsura niya sa akin. I don't know. I just like how it lightens my lips like that. Na parang very chic, very editorial. Next up, dito is yung kanilang nice collection. So they have this one si Punch, which is yung parang purplish color nila. Uh, I don't know what they call this. Parang grape yung itsura niya for me. This one is a coral, which is called H.O.T. And the last one is si Jello. Out of dun sa tatlo, dun sa nice nilang collection, ang pinaka-favorite ko is si Punch tsaka si H.O.T. Pero ito talaga yung pinaka-favorite ko, si Punch. I really like this color. It's very unique sa aking collection. I really don't have a purplish lip gloss like this except for Sugar Plum. Pero Sugar Plum kasi from Hyper Green is very sheer. This one has a bit of color naman into it. Pero don't expect na you're getting, you know, this color on your lip. Alam mo yung pigmentation ni Baywatch, yung red nila na shade? This is it. Like, ganun, ganun yung pigmentation niya. It's not intimidating. It's not an intimidating shade. Pero for me kasi, when I saw punch, parang gusto ko talaga siyang mas more punchy. <laughs> parang mas may pigmentation siya for me. So, kaya medyo na-disappoint ako slightly. But nonetheless, it's still a really, really nice color. So, siguro when I will wear punch, I would wear it on top of my magenta lipsticks. It really looks pretty on the lips. Yung shine niya, tapos may konting glitter-glitter or konting shimmer dyan. Sobrang ganda. Si Jello, I really like it on top of orange lippies. I feel like maganda siya. It's something that I need to be in the mood for to enjoy this product or when I'm wearing my orange lippies. Ganyan. Ito yung gagamitin ko sa kanya. This one, si H.O.T. Ito yung gusto ko rin as well pag on its own. Parang yung effect niya is similar to Baywatch but it's more on the pinker side. It's less less red. Mas red si Baywatch kasi. This one is really, really nice. Sobrang gusto ko siyang i-pair with yung Detail Cosmetics Glass Tint in the shade Bitten. Ayan, ang ganda niya sa label. Pero syempre, mas gusto ko talaga si Punch kasi mas unique siya for me. Out of everything na dun sa nirelease nila ng six shades, ito siguro yung pinaka-favorite ko. Si Punch, si Off Duty, and si Blow. Like, yun yung top three shades ko out of doon sa lahat ng collection. That is it for the Essie Co. products. And since I mentioned detail cosmetics as well. Might as well get into it. Last thing, I only bought one shade which is Bitten kasi ayaw na naman ng isang nude. Although, I kind of wish that I purchased Naked instead. Pero ito na lang yung pinili ko anyway. And this is the shade that I am also wearing right now. Ito yung experience ko na lang. When I first applied this, sobrang pigmented niya sa lips ko na hindi kasi ako masyadong fan ng strong lippies, guys. Minsan lang talaga ako mag-red. Parang yung instinct ko naturally is to like blur it out. Parang to, para hindi lang siya ganun kapigmented. Ganito yung itsura niya. It's like a brownish sort of red, but more on the red side. It feels very um, thick versus the Roman Lasting Water Tint versus yung Choo Choo Beauty Juicy Dew Tint. Ito na siguro yung pinaka malaman, pinaka cushiony yung kanyang feel. May silicone ka na feel eh somehow. Ay, hindi siya ganun ka shiny looking. Like, it does look like a lipstick and then you put lip gloss on top. Pero yung nilagay mong lip gloss, hindi siya yung super shiny mo na lip gloss. Medyo na-disappoint lang ako. Yung shininess talaga yung top priority ko. Hindi yung pigmentation, hindi yung longevity yung shininess. I'm not really so sure if my disappointment is coming from siguro mali siguro yung napili kong color. You know how I feel about red lips. Medyo takot ako doon so hindi ako inclined to put a lot of product. And dahil doon siguro hindi ganun siya ganun ka shiny as how I want it or baka dun sa formula niya lang talaga. I am inclined to get naked just so that I could see it for myself if it's because of yung preference ko lang ng color kaya ganun yung experience ko. Ito pa, after a few, an hour or so, it feels ano na siya, it feels like a tint na siya na nag-dry down na sa akin. So whenever I'm wearing this, I always put a lip gloss on top of it 
para lang talaga ma-achieve ko yung kung ano yung gusto kong shiny level. I'm going to put HOT na on my lips because I really like this combo. For ako mag-end dito, I think naman na this product is not bad. It is long-lasting and maganda yung kanyang tint sa aking lips kasi hindi siya mukhang patchy in a way that the tint just stays on the inner portion of my lips, ganun. Parang hindi siya an even looking. So, okay naman ako doon. Like, maganda naman yung quality niya in that way. Pero yun lang, na-disappoint lang talaga ako doon sa kanyang uh, glossy, shiny factor. Ito, this is something that I am really, really happy about with detail cosmetics. So, this is their Metallics palette. Nakasulat pa nga dito, detail makeover. Pero ito si detail cosmetics um, before they had a makeover. <laughs> this one contains 21 colors that they're all shimmer. So, ito siya. Cardboard packaging siya and it has a mirror in here. Sasabihin ko na sa inyo, guys. Like, I really, really like the quality of this palette and I'm so happy that my friends, ABL, sent this to me for Christmas. I really, really appreciate this one. I wanted to get this as well. Like, ilang beses tong nag-sale. I think 100 pesos pa nga siya at the time. Like, I don't know when. Ang ganda talaga ng color selection na ito kasi may mga light shades ka. Ayan, like this one from Pollux. You also have Nisa and Cade. So, hindi lang siya, you know, a champagne light shimmer. Meron ka rin mga pinky peach shade as well dito. My golden ones, which is really good for neutrals. Tapos, you also have some deep shades here, which is itong dalawang columns for me. So, ito. Ayan, yung mga greens mo, your black. May black ka pa na shimmer dito. Tapos, may parang grayish ka na shade, which is nice. Tapos, may mga jewel tones ka rin also here na parang may rainbow siya. The shimmers are more of that metallic foiled shimmer. It's not those textural shimmers, so it's very uniform ha. Wala rin duochrome akong nakikita dito. May dalawang shades lang ako that I would say as a dud. Like, hindi siya ganun ka-shiny as the rest of the palette. And that is yung Rana. This one, yung hot pink. Hindi siya ganun ka-shiny or metallic as the others. And also si Black Hole. Ayan. Well, but syempre, that is a black. But I really enjoy that they have a black here as well to deepen the shades up. May mga times lang ako na-experience sa fallout dito. Pero syempre, that's because I didn't tap my brush. Or if you want to avoid it completely, you can spray your brush with a sprayer or a mister or anything like that. To wet it lang para lang it doesn't fall out as much. Pero ayun, overall, I really am enjoying the looks that I've created with this one. I'm gonna flash some looks that I created um, kaya kong gumawa ng eye look with just using this palette kahit they're all shimmers. Ayan, yan yung mga looks na create ko. I tried using it with my other palettes. I tried using it on its own. Like, all shimmers lang talaga. Ang ganda. It's a really good addition sa aking collection, in my opinion. So, I'm really, really happy that, you know, uh, ABL sent this over to me. Kasi talagang, alam mo yun, it's a good companion palette and it's a good standalone palette as well. They could improve the color selection though by siguro changing itong si Heidi and Bellatrix. I feel like they are very, very close to each other. Heidi is more red while Bellatrix is more yellowish. May parang ka-orangey, more on the coppery side siya. And also si Arctos tsaka si Maya. Ito. More olivey lang si ano, Maya and more bronzy lang si Arctus. Pero to me, parang medyo pareho lang sila. But either way, I really, really enjoyed this palette. Um, I think na it's a great companion palette and as well as a standalone palette. Ang ganda lang talaga with how they selected this and the formula is not bad for the price in my opinion. This one has a space sa aking collection. I'm, I'm so happy about that. Lastly, dito sa ating review, I'm gonna be talking about yung Chroma Salt Shadow Arc. This one is sent to me in PR by my friend si Jill, Jill Felix. Um, I'm gonna post her Instagram account as well dyan sa baba so that you guys could check her work out. She's a professional makeup artist. I'm just a fan of Jill's work even before I joined YouTube, even before I became a content creator. I've been following her na dun sa aking personal account. She likes to play around with color and if you like someone who plays around with color like me, I suggest that you follow her kasi sobrang ganda lang talaga ng mga looks niya. Created Chroma Salt and this is the second product. Yung Shadow Arc, they released four shades. Meron isang periwinkle, Meron isang green and those are the metallic formula. 
Well, I have naman dito is a uh, Red Earth. This is a matte. This is their matte formula. And also si Nile, which is their metallic. Nile is more of that glittery, chunky glitter formula. And when you apply this on your eyes in one swipe, makikita mo na ano siya. It's more of the chunky finish. Makikita mo medyo textural ang kanyang pigmentation. I don't want to use the word patchy kasi like, makikita mo na chunk up yung kanyang glitters. Ayan, it's very, very chunky. I'm using it right now on my inner corner. If you guys are wondering, so I really enjoyed this product. Like, I enjoy this more than Red Earth, but this one is kind of finicky. When you try to put this like a graphic liner, hindi siya ganong kapino yung kanyang line kasi yung chunkiness niya. It adds texture. And ito, with this look, I was trying to go for a graphic liner look, pero nagmukha siyang parang foiled you know, like gold flakes on my eyes. Ganun yung nag-insura niya. It's a happy accident. So, I think pwede siya dito sa liner dito. Pero pag anything that has curves, medyo mahihirapan ka to create a graphic liner. Tanggal ko yung stopper dito kasi sabi ni Jill na you have to remove the stopper. Kailangan mo lang talaga yung matanggal yung stopper so that you get enough product. Gustuhan ko dito sa Nile as well is that you can shear it out Kung gusto mo lang ng konting specks of glitter, like for example, this look, ayan. Ganun siya on the eyes, talaga. Itong si Nile, it really is shiny, it really is so good, and so, I don't know, parang uh, so regal looking. And also ito, si Red Earth, ayan. One swipe pigmentation, ang ganda. And then, it's so spreadable. Even when you use it with your finger, with your brush, pwedeng pwede talaga. I tried, ayan know. It will dry down eventually, pero kaya mo siyang ma-move konti to improve yung blending. It gives you an ample amount of blending time. You know, hindi naman siya sobrang tagal na naiinip ka na ang sticky pa rin niya. I prefer blending this or using this with my brush. Like, apply it on my eyes and then blend it with a brush. I tried using it with my fingers, pero I get more precision kasi with a brush. I tried using this in so many different ways. Like, I tried using this as a makeup base. So, for this look again, I put red earth all over my eyes and then I just applied like a pink eyeshadow all over it para magmukha siyang pinky. It's not as red brown as it is. Right now I'm also using it as a base like on top of the metallics, the detail metallics uh, eyeshadows on top to give me that sunset eye. Another makeup base dito sa ayan, sa Nescafe looks basically red earth. And then I used a brown shade from the Lorac Pro 2 palette on the outer corners of my crease. Para magmukha siyang reddish brown, mas magmukha siyang neutral. So it's really good as well, yung staying power niya. Granted, you're not sweating or going to have an activity that will involve yourself getting wet. It's not waterproof, if I should say. It's not water resistant either. Like, pag hinugasan mo to, if I put running water all over it, matatanggal talaga siya. When I tried to put a facial mist all over my face, medyo nag melt na yung product because of the mist. So, I would suggest after you put your base, you spray your mist, tapos you put your eyeshadow on top if you are going to wear this. The price of each is not cheap. Of course, this is a small brand. A small brand, smaller quantities, and therefore higher yung kanilang cost of production as compared to a company like Everblena or BLK who can mass produce products. Ang ganda lang ng, ang ganda lang ng formula nito. It's not, not not bad. I just wish na it was more water resistant, if I should say. That's, that's it. it. That is everything that I want to share with you guys. I hope that this review is worth the wait. Let me know if there are products that caught your eye from this batch and what are your thoughts about these products if you have tried them already. Let me know down below. Let's exchange thoughts. Let me know if you agreed with me, disagreed with me. Okay lang naman talaga mag-disagree guys. It's, you know, makeup. Very subjective. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in my next video. Much love. Bye-bye!